seriously, thank you all for coming down. I think I know everybody here. Uh, uh, is there anyone here I don't know? I don't think so. Anyway, Terry Meneker. And uh, our special guest today, uh, and when I say special, I do mean special, uh, A.J. Conti, uh, founder of Basis uh, Audio. Uh, A.J. and I go back a long, long ways, and there's a reason for that, because at Overture, uh, we seek out the best of the best uh, for our customers. The customer always comes first. Peter and I were chatting a little while ago, and it's, it's all about you. Without you, we're nothing, and we're obligated to you to bring you not only the best products, not necessarily the most expensive, but the best products from legitimate companies. AJ can fix the first turntable he ever built. Is that right, AJ? Fully updated. That's what you want. Fix yeah. it. Fix all it. The parts, update it. They want to upgrade it, then it gets upgraded right to where it is now, if they'd like. Yeah. And that's what 26 years so, ago now. Yeah, for 26 years. Uh, many companies today, and we don't represent them, uh, three or four or five years down the road, uh, you know, you need a repair. The company's either out of business or they don't have inventory of parts, and maybe they substitute a part, but it's not the right part. And so we uh, are very, very careful about who we select and bring in here. Uh, uh, basis is our reference uh, for turntables, and by reference we mean that, in our opinion, that's the best available. AJ Conti. AJ Conti. Uh, and we are using our reference system today, which is basis, uh, uh, of course, for turntables, FM acoustics, phono sections, uh, MIT spectral, and uh, one of our two, ba uh, two speakers lines that are reference. Uh, this happens to be the Magico, the other one would be the Avalon. Uh, but we're using the system today. So hope you have some fun. We've got some neat music for you. And uh, thanks again for coming. Thank you, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, Terry. Well, AJ Conti, as Terry said, thanks for coming today. I figured there might be no one here, which would be fine. Then Terry and I would have gone over the turntables, fine-tuned them even more. Uh, I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> and more that I've forgotten. It's unbelievable what Terry knows. You know, I'm, I'm known in the industry probably as someone who doesn't play the political game. Uh, don't hang out a lot at the, the parties at the show by various magazines or groups so that I can chase down and pull on the coattails of reviewers. Uh, that type of thing really bothers me to see grown men act that way. And uh, I know there's a woman here. And so I will say grown men because Women don't do that. First off, we have almost none in our industry. And secondly, I don't think they'd stoop to that behavior. Oh, please look at my new whiz-bang widget that I made to go underneath the stand or whatever. So I, I stay away from the politics because I don't understand it. And I, I really don't understand the smoozing end of the sales effort either. I understand uh, something we say a lot at basis. I was thinking of naming a model after it. Truth. The truth. Getting at the truth. And so since I don't play the political game, I don't do the marketing thing, I haven't been on a dealer uh, trip for uh, 10 years maybe or something like that, I do go to shows. What I'm about to say quickly about Terry, it's not schmoozing because again, I don't understand the schmooze thing. I'd rather keep my mouth shut and, and just not say anything uh, rather than platitudes that are the same thing at every, every show. Well, I don't do shows, that's right. Terry, you know, I wish there's a, there's a concept I love, fly on the wall. If Someone could be a fly on the wall. They'd learn so much about different people, uh, about products, about the philosophy of companies. You know, one major philosophy could be, we want to make as many cubic yards of money as we can. Another philosophy is, I want to benefit society as much as I can. Another philosophy is, for a fanatic like me who loves uh, audio, music, and uh, electromechanical things, I want to perfect certain parts of that system that I feel are appropriate for my background, education, experience. And uh, if someone could be a fly on the wall, they'd see the conversations at basis every day, which all, I have a full-time physicist working for me. Mm. So we actually have two highly technical people at the company with education, loads of experience. He comes out of aerospace, collegiate education. He taught finite element, element analysis at the collegiate level. Uh, lots of analysis systems. He's worked for uh, the biggest aluminum, high-tech aluminum company in the USA, analyzing materials. An expert in computers, wrote a book, you know, Networking for Dummies. 
He's a brilliant guy. And he and I talk physics all day long. Physics, engineering, electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. And I wish clients thinking of buying, for instance, a great turntable could be flies on the wall and hear those conversations about how does it get better? How can we get our ridiculous tolerances for precision even tighter because we know those things make a difference? How can we measure this thing more effectively? What equipment do we need to buy? He's heard me say, if I could buy a better analysis uh, setup for the cables that we use on our toner, if it were 100 grand, I'd buy it. He just bought a $25,000 unit, which lets us peer deeply into what's happening in this signal transmission. But I'd spend 100 if there were a better device that showed us the signal transmission qualities of the cable that we use on our vector, because that's part of the analog front end that we want to perfect. Likewise, a fly on the wall. If they could be at a show and hear the conversations between dealers together or a dealer and a manufacturer, sometimes they would hear conversations only about, hey, you know, you can stimulate sales by dropping that model you've been doing for 12 years, come out with a new model, doesn't really need to be any better, but can be a different configuration, might be less expensive for you to build. One conversation I had with a rep, I said, I can't play that game, that's fake. I want to build lasting value forever. I'm an idealist, fanatical idealist. And, uh, and he said, and I said, besides that, I've refined this model so much, I couldn't do better significantly unless I spent twice as much money. He said, oh, you don't have to do better. You just make it look different. Everyone who owns it will feel insecure, the, the end users will. The dealers will have to change over all their demos. The importers will have to change their demos. In his words, quote,